Hello YouTube, uh, another quick After Effects tutorial from me. Uh, I'm just going to uh, show you how I create a looping animation. Uh, this is part of a GIF seri uh, anima a series of animated GIFs that I'm creating for loading and transcoding and uploaded uh, state on this on the site I'm working on. So this a little bit of backstory about this. This particular icon here is um, basically showing the user that there's something going on in the background that's for an undetermined amount of time. Uh, talking to the, the developer today, he says that the the transcoding time can take any any between any time between two to ten minutes. Now this isn't ideal but this is the, the situation we face. So I need an animation that can show the user that there's something going on in the background. Uh, don't, don't worry, stick around. Um, so the, the, the animation that I've got currently actually just ends after about three seconds. I can show you, uh, I'll probably do another animation that will show you how this, this animation was created. Um, but at the moment, I'll just show you how, the, how I'm going to loop this. So if I highlight all of my layers and then go pre-comp and then call it InfiniCog. InfiniOg, that'll do, whatever. Um, and then that's created at, at three seconds. Now, I'm, I'm going to go up to 15 minutes, which is the extreme end of uh, the the transcoding sequence in my web in the website so it's not ideal but hopefully nobody will be able to see that so 15 minutes so if I zoom out you can see the full length 15 minutes I can't move this I can't ex extend my pre-comp at all to 15 minutes and it's obviously not going to be looped so in this situation here we're going to enable time remapping so you right click on your layer, go to time, enable time remapping, and that creates a uh, keyframe at the end, keyframe at the beginning, and now you can extend your composition all the way to the 15 minute mark, which we're going to do right now. So underneath the pre-comp layer, you have the time remap function, let's call it. Um, here, so we're not going to change any of the keyframes, but under on, under the under the pre-comp layer, we're going to then add an expression. So because we're looping, we're just going to call it the the expression is loop out. It looks a bit like JavaScripty, um, <clears throat> and then that will create a loop of our animation infinitely, well, infinitely for fifteen minutes. Awesome. However, as you probably just Scene at the end of my first loop, there is a blank keyframe. Odd, huh? Well, that's a bit of a known bug for After Effects. I don't know why they haven't fixed that, but we're going to uh, fix that right now. So basically, create a keyframe over just before the blank. Zoom in, Nathan. So just create a blank keyframe just before it disappears and then reappears. Copy uh, and then click on the key, the last keyframe, paste over that one, delete the one you previously made. I don't know why that fixes it, but it does. Let's have a look. Yeah, fixed. Weird. So weird. Anyway, so that loops for 15 minutes. Dooby dooby doo. If we extend uh, that out as well. So if we just check it, uh, I'm not going to bore you by sitting here for 15 minutes while this thing plays back, but believe me, it does. So we're going to render that out and then uh, create a GIF out of that. Uh, and then that should then fix uh, the problem we've got. Hope that was informative for you and not too many errors. Probably going to create a video series of these these gifts that I'm creating in After Effects in Photoshop because I've learned a few key skills that I think that needs to be passed on. Um, yeah, definitely check back, subscribe, 
like, play, share, whatever, um, I'll, I'll definitely be back to show you how I created this series of GIFs. On the flip side, YouTube, 